Oh, TJ Holmes. They brought TJ Holmes. He's He was the non-threatening, light-skinned Negro. Hi, you know, I'm non-threatening. You know, I'm I'm just like Brian Gumbel. Look at me. I'm a, I have a great look. I kind of, I look like a dark European to a certain degree. Hey, look at me. You know, I don't hang around in the ghetto. You know, I, I, I don't eat chicken. I don't like barbecue. I'm a vegan. So I'm not like all the other blacks, so I'd be a great fit. You know what, T.J. Holmes? You would be a phenomenal fit, T.J. Holmes. I mean, you look good. You're non-threatening. You're not big and black. You're a fair-skinned Negro. You look like you might be a little moist. Yeah. We're not going to question your sexuality, but you're a little dainty. You're like a almost a pretty Negro. So you might be a little... So come on in here. You're, you're, not, you're not a threat. Oh, thank you so much. You won't regret it, guys. And you know what? All lives matter. T.J. Holmes got in there real good on Good Morning America. The white women, that white woman, married white woman started choosing low key. Then he started blacking it up a little bit. That white woman said, hey, T.J. Holmes, you know, look, you know, we're colleagues. Let, let's discuss some workload after work, okay? We got a lot of stuff to do. We have an assignment. We're going to do a running assignment. And, you know, let's go over after work, after hours, we're going to go have a, you know, go go to a, a lounge and a coffee shop and discuss some of the workload. Sure, sure thing. Let's, let's definitely discuss it. There's a Starbucks right down the street from my house. We can discuss the workload and get everything together. So that white woman showed up. Then he blackened it up. So TJ Holmes. So, uh, so how are we going to do this project? Look here, bitch. I see you choosing up on it, nigga. I saw you looking at me, right? Oh, what happened to your voice? Bitch, don't worry about that. Listen here. I fuck with you, right? You, you, you rock with me. I see you. You, you be looking at it, nigga. I saw you, you, you looking at what I had popping off. And I'm looking at you. I see what you got popping off, bitch. Look here. I got a, um, I got an Airbnb right around the corner. Oh, oh my. T.J. Holmes, I, I'd never seen this side of you before, bitch. This is the real deal. You're about to see a real side of a nigga. You understand me? Now, nah, you, you you choosing, and I saw you looking, you know, when I had on the gray sweats. I saw you looking at what a nigga was working with. You understand me? Oh, my God, you saw that? Yeah, bitch, I saw it. I see you. you I got something that you want. You understand me? Oh, God. No one, no one can know about this. Let's go to that Airbnb, TJ. So TJ saw, did you, y'all, y'all look at the pictures? Did y'all see the, they had a private investigator following him? He was doing all types of nigga shit, smacking the white woman on the ass. Come on, bitch. He's smacking on the ass. Hurry, hurry up, bitch, and let's get in the car. Oh, he was doing all types, all the nigga shit came out with TJ Holmes. That's the thing that killed them. Oh, he was smacking all on the ass. That's nigga shit. <laughs> Bitch, hurry up and pack them bags so we can get out of here. I got to go get me some chicken wings. Yeah, T he turned from TJ Holmes to TJ Homie. <laughs> he all smacking that ass. That, that was the funniest thing to me when he was smacking on the ass. The, oh, that, that was killing the white supremacist men. That was killing them to see that. Oh, that's the thing that killed. That's why they, they I, they're they firing him. He's done. We're good morning. They ain't bringing him back. No. Because he, that's what they don't like. A black, a straight black man up at these corporations banging these white women. Oh God, they hate that. That's why they love bringing moist dudes around. That's why you go to these corporations, they got little dainty niggas running around. They love that because that's what they don't want. When a black man who is a heterosexual get into corporate America and you fly and you you articulate, you can dress, nigga, you are the, the pick of the litter. The women be in there choosing. Where are my professional black men at? My straight black men. I'm, I'm telling y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. All my professional black men, you know, when you go into these business meetings, you suited and booted, you going in there professional, them women be on your ass. I am telling you, 
black men who are suited and booted and articulate, who works in corporate America, who ain't bussified, them women be up on them, especially the white women. They be choosing heavy. They be choosing heavy. You understand? Heavy. Because it's, it's really rare for them to see a black man really in that corporate situation who's straight anyway. It, it, it's really rare to see a black man who's straight coming in there. So the fact that you already looked at as exotic and then you coming in suited and booted and you in there fly and they, they're choosing heavy, dude. They are choosing. You know? They already got somebody to replace them. Yeah, yeah he's out. He's out. TJ Holmes is out. Oh, that was a betrayal. Him in there smashing them white women like that. That was a major betrayal. You know, they're, they're down there. Oh, my God, TJ. The people at, at the management company, TJ, I thought you were a coon. My God.